Welcome back YouTube. It is the time now to put that vise on that workbench. What I've got is a five inch vise and I want to position this vise in the correct spot. So you have two jaws on this vise, two jaws. One of these is movable. This one will move in and out by turning this handle. All of the vise will rotate by loosening this screw and this screw. Then I want this surface of this jaw to be out at least to the edge of this table. And the reason for that is when you have long items that you want to put in the vise, like this, if the vise, the, this jaw is behind that surface, then you're limited on how far down you can go. But if you move this vise, the whole vise out just a little bit further, when you put things inside the vise that are too long, they can drop down below the face of the table. So my next step has got to be locate the vise exactly where I want it and then trace the three screw holes. I've got three holes. I've already got a hole in the table. I think I'm going to be using that one. So that means I'm only going to have to drill two other holes for this. The way I'm going to ensure that is I am going to clamp two levels in my vise lightly because I don't want to damage my, my levels. But I've got two levels that are the same thickness. So I'm going to clamp them lightly in the vise. And here we go. Slide it back a little bit more. You want it more on the table if you can get it on the table because of strength. The more it's hanging out, the weaker it is. Lining up with this one that's already in the table. So now I've got to mark the other two. Right, I've determined I'm gonna need to drill two holes. One here, one here. At least five sixteenths of an inch. I put a mark right in the middle of it with a center punch. All right, got my holes drilled. You'll see I've got three 5 16ths by 24 bolts that are one inch long, three nylon lock nuts, and I've got six flat washers, 5 16ths washers to install this with. Also, I'm going to need a half inch wrench and a half inch socket wrench for this. 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket will also work. They're very close to a half inch. All right, now I'm going to position the vise over the holes that I've drilled. Hopefully they're going to line up. That's the plan. Put a washer onto the bolt, drop it in the hole, another washer on the bolt, drop it in the hole, another washer on the bolt, drop it in the hole. Now I'm going to do my work from underneath. Put the washer and the nut on the bolt and tighten it uh, finger tight. Get them all started finger tight before you tighten any of them. There it is, tightened down. Now I can see if my location is correct. Hopefully it is, looks good on this side. Looks good on this side. Everything looks good. All right, now we're going to cut a shelf. It will go from the bottom of this leg here all the way across to the bottom of this leg here. I've measured it across and it's gonna be five foot long. And I measured the distance from the inside of this leg to this leg and it's right at 16 inches. So that's tight. I'm gonna cut it at 15 and a half inches wide by five feet long. So I'm gonna cut it out of this used piece of three quarter inch plywood that I had here. First thing I'm gonna do is measure out my 15 and a half. 15 and a half inches here. And 15 and a half inches here. And 15 and a half inches here. And then I'm gonna measure it out five foot long from the end. Use 
either a long level or a straight edge, or you can use a T-square. This is for sheetrock, but it'll work on this as well. T-square would work. If you had a T-square, you only have to mark it one time. Draw yourself your line. But if you don't have a T-square, that's why you have to mark it several times for the extension of the measurement. Now you can see the finished product with some tools stacked on it. I have got the heaviest items stacked on the ends where the crossbars are. If you wanted to put more weight on this, you could put a second sheet of three quarter inch plywood on here to support more weight. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Please remember to subscribe right there. Talk to you soon.